Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Asia. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe and join the gang. So today we are doing another Fenty Beauty review. I feel like these are my favorites, honestly. It just, they just do something for me. Um, today we have the uh, <laughs> Bright Fix. This is their new concealer. This is um, basically like a lightweight concealer. Um, I feel like it's kind of to pair with the skin tint. I kind of felt like I was missing a little something under my eyes, something just as light and you know flawless. So I feel like these are kind of they sisters. So um, I got the shade Deep Butter 07. Um, I feel like they were grouped pretty well. There was about four or five shades for the light. Um, same for the medium as well as deep and then they did have a couple color correcting shades So just a few claims for this. This is a, this instantly hydrates brightens and blurs light as air shield to sheer to buildable coverage that lasts so um Yeah, it's just a cute little lightweight concealer to um give you that no makeup makeup look um yeah, so I'm going to be pairing these two together with my um, makeup today. So just to test out how well this works on its own for that, you know, out the door kind of look. Um, I'm going to, on this side, I'm going to use the concealer first. Just so we can see how much coverage that gives. And then I'm going to put this all over my face, including under this eye. And then put this on top of it to see how well it works with the skin tint. So... We doing the best of both worlds today. Um, I thought the applicator was kind of cute, a little bit different. It's this like clear little, can you see? It has like this clear um, applicator and the product just comes up right here. Um, it's just plastic. It's just cute. It's different from the, you know, like typical doe foot applicators. So I am going to be using my sponge for this um, to blend it out. It is like sheer coverage, so I don't know if I should blend it out with my finger first and then a sponge on top because I don't want it to like immediately take up all of the product. So let's just see. Hopefully this was like the right shade. This is the lightest shade um, in the medium category. So let's just see how well this is going to cover those under eye circles. It does feel really hydrating. Um, looks a little bit shiny. So I'm going to set this for sure. Um, I feel like honestly, if I wanted to just conceal my under eyes, I could probably just wear this alone. It's pretty close to my um, skin tone. So if I didn't want to, you know, have any other type of base, I could probably get away with that. I honestly don't like blending out with my finger. I just feel like it takes too long. So I'm going to just quickly go over top. So you can see how much coverage that gave when we could do a side by side comparison. Okay, definitely. Oh wow, it looks so much brighter. Okay, can you see the difference from the side to the side? Definitely, I see a lot of coverage. I don't feel like it's as like, you can see it's not as dark right here. Um, my eyelids, definitely there's a difference. I feel like I could use this on its own. I probably wouldn't though because it would kind of look weird to me like this is just flawless up here and then down here is just like what's going on. So um yeah that's cute. I'm gonna go ahead and put my skin tint. This is in the shade number 10 and I'm just gonna apply this with my fingers because I feel like that works best for this product. Ok, 
Okay, so now that the skin tint is applied, I'm gonna go ahead and try to conceal this eye over here and see how well it covers on top of another product. It looks so flawless. Okay, I'm just going to blend that out over top with the sponge. I really enjoy both of these products together. Um, it was a hit with just the skin tint, but with the lightweight concealer on top, it's really given. Okay, can you guys see the difference? Um, I think it looks really nice. I feel like I look awake. Um, I look like I'm just ready to have some fun in the sun. Honestly, I look like I'm ready to I just feel I feel so cute I feel so good like minimal makeup and it doesn't look like I'm wearing anything if we're being honest like yeah this looks really good I'm impressed I'm impressed okay so I am I would never go out without setting my face or anything like that that's just not how I roll so um, I'm gonna set this with my Huda powder because I have oily skin and if I don't it's gonna look a mess eventually probably sooner rather than later so um I'm gonna go ahead and set the rest of my face just probably no I'm gonna set the rest of my face I'm gonna use the powder under my eyes and then probably the micro smooth powder from Sephora to set my entire face and then yeah I'll probably be good after that then after that, um, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do the rest of my face and I'm gonna let y'all know what I did. <laughs> All right, I'm back. So I did just use a little bit of, um, the Huda Beauty, uh, I did just use a little bit of the Huda, the Huda Beauty powder and the Micro Smooth powder for all over my face. Um, I added just like a little bit of Hula bronzer and I feel like... Oh, and I sprayed my face with um, All Nighter. Um, I feel like up close, I don't see like anything wrong with it. Um, like I said, I feel like my face looks really flawless. Definitely blurs. Um, this just looks like my skin, but better, honestly. So this is the side that basically is just concealer under the eyes and I feel like you know it covers enough I can definitely see a difference between these two like this side looks a little bit more covered in my opinion so that's because it has like two layers of products which still is light but it gives me enough coverage to make me feel like you know covered and like flawless this side is more like a first glance kind of oh she looks flawless but if i stare i can probably see like a little bit discoloration but um it's definitely more covered on this side because i use both products but like i said both sides look really good they don't like it doesn't look terrible on this side i can just tell that this was only like the concealer side because I do see it just a little bit more darkness nothing major and I'm I probably could have built it up a little bit I wasn't thinking to like try to build it up I was just thinking off of like first glance you know that first swipe um, it did cover really well like I said it's just um, obviously this side since it did have both products it's just more covered okay so to wrap up this product um, I feel like my under eyes are concealed pretty well um, in conjunction with the skin tint. And I really like the coverage that it gives, but if you're not into this kind of look, I wouldn't say it's like a necessary purchase if you know if you just need more than what this is. 
Um, I will get good use out of this because I do like lighter coverage things, especially for the summertime. I think that the skin tint paired with this is going to make my skin just look really nice and flawless without like, you know, without much effort. Um, but if you're into more full coverage and stuff like that, and if you weren't too fond or too crazy about the skin tint, I wouldn't say you necessarily need the, um, the bright fix. So this product is definitely something to like give you that natural, this is me, but better kind of look. If you're looking for something that's going to like super brighten and super like cover anything on your face, this is probably not going to do that for you. I mean, it could if you got like a lighter shade, but like I said, it's, it's very thin and sheer. So it's not going to give you that, you know, Instagram kind of face is this is definitely like a I look good in person kind of these two are both like I look good in person kind of makeup and anything more than that would kind of be like I look good on camera kind of makeup but um this is definitely if you're digging more natural esque kind of makeup if you're into my skin but better if you're looking for something that is just minimal work but still some type of like coverage and blurring to the face then I would recommend um, these two newer products but um, yeah they're super cute I think that if you are um, if you're into that kind of look like I'm into that kind of look I would definitely recommend to go try to like go check it out because um, I really enjoy this. Like, I felt like the skin tint, like I could use this on its own all day. Like, I don't care with no concealer, but just now having a concealer to go under that, it kind of like pulls everything together and it just looks that much better. So um, I will definitely be using this a lot. Like whenever I'm using my skin tint, I will be using this because they just, go well together in my opinion and I just feel like it brings the face together but yeah I'm gonna stop rambling now those are all my thoughts on the new Fenty Beauty product if you are interested don't forget to check my description box I have it linked below um just browse around see if it's for you if it's not whatever you know we do this all day um thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe and I will catch y'all in my next video peace out